alaikum. Welcome in Kariboni to Aroma Zanzibar's Kitchen. Today we're making something special and this is my version of machbus. So I'm going to start by preparing the broth. So I've got some oil and I've added one large onion that has been diced. I used yellow. You can use red or white. And I flavored it with some cinnamon sticks and bay leaf and uh, ginger and garlic this has been chopped not paste this time so one tablespoon of ginger and two tablespoons of garlic and i like to flavor it with pilau masala a tablespoon but you can use whatever masalas that you want to use and then i added crushed tomatoes these are two tomatoes now if you want your match to be yellow like how the traditional is done then do not use the tomatoes I also use turmeric powder and two dry limes. Okay, so I just sauteed it for a minute and then I added uh, whole peppercorns and cardamom. Okay, I like to flavor my broth with whole spices, but you can always use powder ones, okay? And then I added this baby goat leg, which was pretty big for my pot. And this is the largest pot I have, by the way. So I tried to saute, but I couldn't. So I went ahead and added the water. And since the pot is big and I wanted the leg to be covered, I have used 16 cups of water. You don't have to use so much. It depends on the size of the meat that you're cooking and, of course, some salt. And covered it and I cooked this for about an hour. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the spices for the rice. So I've got my saffron here. And I uh, added about one and a half cups of hot water, which I will be using for rice as well. Okay. And at the same time, I use the same water to soak the almonds. I think I used about half a cup, but you can always use more. The kids said I didn't have, they didn't have enough nuts. They love nuts on their match booze. So I soak this with hot water for about five to ten minutes. And then once the saffron has soaked into the water, I use the same saffron water to soak the raisins. And I added some rose water into the saffron. All right. This is just to add extra flavors to our match booze. Now, this is for the meat. So I've got two tablespoons of pilau masala, the same masala that I used for the broth. Okay. One tablespoon of cumin and one tablespoon of black pepper which is coarse and then some salt of course and now i'm ready to remove the skin to peel the skin as you can see it's very easy and here i have cooked half uh half an hour so now i am going to flip it to cook the other side for half an hour and uh, i made my dessert at this time then i came back and this is ready so I took some of the broth and put it in my dry spices. This is totally optional, guys. And then some oil. And then I'm going to apply these spices onto the baby goat. You can see it's already cooked. So by the way, this is not the traditional way in terms of the spices. Some people use garam masala. Some people use some Arabic uh, spices. And... Um, Basbus, I was about to say, Majbus is usually served in the GCC, the Gulf countries, Bahrain, Kuwait, UAE, they prepare Majbus, but everybody has their own way of doing it. And this is my way of doing it. All right. So after this, I put this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. I put it for two hours, but I took it out at one and a half hours. It was already well cooked, nice and tender. So if you're using beef, you may need to cook it longer. So now we're going to cook the rice. I used uh, three cups of basmati. This has been washed and soaked. And uh, so the water is uh, one and a half cup for each cup of rice. Now it depends how much you're going to cook. This is for seven people. All right. So we're going to bring this to a boil. And once it comes to a boil... I was cooking, now I'm going to start the onions. This is just for my garnish. And once it comes to a boil like this, I reduce the heat to medium, not too low, and let it cook for about 10 minutes. And then once the liquid has come to this stage, then I cover it and let it cook for about 
10 minutes. All right. So now onions are almost ready. And uh, I was looking at something else. Now they were almost burnt. And uh, so I'm just going to remove this. And after this, I reduced the oil. And then now I'm frying the almonds and the raisins. So the rice is ready here. So I added some of the hot oil. And then this is rose water and saffron again. Then I put a big plate down there. So when I put low heat, it's equally distributed. So this is what happens when you're shifting the camera from one end to another end. And my raisins and almonds were burnt. All right. So this is not traditional. Like I say, the traditional, they would also have lentils here. Okay. So I'm just going to cover this. Now, after 20 minutes, our rice is ready to be served. Smells amazing and uh, tasted really good. All right, so thank you so much for watching. For more recipes, please visit me at Aroma of Zanzibar. You will find all the ingredients and the measurements in the description box below. And uh, here is our baby goat leg. All right, and uh, I wish you all a wonderful day, but don't leave. I want you to see how tender that meat is. Bye-bye.